Hello and welcome to the 2024 IFSC season. We're kicking things off in China for the Boulder World Cup and it's time for the women's final. My name is Matt Groom. I'm joined by Petra Klingler in the commentary box. That's our top six. One of those will be crowned a winner here tonight. Four boulders on offer. Okay, there we go. Great rundown from Petra Klingler here in the commentary box. This is our top six. And if you're just joining us, well, it's time for the women's final here in Kaikou, China. And we're starting with a really crazy boulder. It's the dynamic one. So it looks like a paddle to me. So a lot of dynamic movement, jumpy explosiveness is here. And always with these paddle jumps, we wonder where the athlete might stop. And we don't really know on this one. I have a feeling it's on that third uh, red volume kicking onto the black. As you see, yeah, there's no jib on that black volume. So it's just the volume itself she has to stand on. Springs left. That was a really good try. You saw the foot already hit the, the foothold on the left side but she was a little bit late with her body. The athletes have to try to complete the boulder within that time. If they're a second too late, it doesn't count. So the clock is important. The athletes can see that on the stage. Better from Camilla. Another really good try. Like, super controlled on your feet. Um, then, yeah, I always like to power off and get that energy out. Uh, that was really nicely done from Camilla. All right, well, she's through those first moves. That's the zone hold. Now, you have to use it to get the points, and that adjustment of the foot will have done that. So she's on the scoreboard, and in a minute, we'll see bottom left. There's a bar you can see now filled halfway up for the zone but she wants it filled all the way for a top but there's a big jump coming up now oh really nice that's massive from camilla that celebration is so camilla as well if you saw a yeah. shadow of her doing that i'd know it was her she brings those legs up yeah she runs out onto the stage what was it you called her like a nickname or something what was her name your name for her we i don't know because the Chinese names are always really hard to say, we always called her Lucy Lu. Okay. But I have no idea if that's the right way to call her, but it's just like what we expected her to be named. <laughs> and it's the way we can pronounce it. Yes, that is true. Yeah, I say Zilu Lu just, uh, and I think I'm getting it vaguely right. Oh, look at that, though. It's not bad. That was a really good try. It's like, yeah, you have to separate your body parts a little bit. But she came close that time, pulling on again for a second attempt. Just needs to find that kick over to the left. Yeah, yeah the alleys. Switzerland as well. <laughs> Swits are pretty good. Yeah, yeah. you guys allowed. I don't think you uh, realize how much we can hear at home sometimes. It's yeah. brilliant. Oh, another really good try. Well, she's heavily strapped up on that left shoulder. I was looking in semis and I didn't notice any sort of, un didn't look like she was uncomfortable with it. So we think it might just be preventative. And yeah, Miho, uh, she ended semi-final. She had got a heavily iced up left shoulder. So heart goes out to her as well. I think she'll be okay, but uh, one to watch. She looks, kind of seems to be getting further away here. Yeah, she had a really good try, but couldn't reproduce it again. I think that's like the, the hard thing about climbing. Like once you got the move, sometimes you have it in you, but sometimes you don't know what you changed and you can't reproduce the same way and improve. And that kind of also the frustrating part about it. Yeah, absolutely. She's trying kind of something different now, but in 16 seconds, it's not going to be enough time. She needs it to happen right now just to get that yeah. zone and get on the scoreboard. Ten attempts, no zone. Five second buzzer goes, and no. Well, that is a disappointing start for her. She now needs to go away and just sort of reset herself a bit for the next boulder. Well, here's another young lady running onto the stage. She's just 20, Erin McNeese from Great Britain. She looked emotional when she was announced to the crowd. She'll try to shut out all the noise now and just do what she does best, which is do this boulder. No medals yet to her name, of course. And it'll be a PB, whatever happens. Let's see what Erin can do here. And she looked good in the coordination boulder earlier on. So yeah, well, I must say, like, she skipped the coordination, kind of. <laughs> True. <laughs> but we'll see what she's going to do here. Maybe she's also thinking about, okay, I, just, I, I skipped it there. Could I skip one now? Um, because she, she is super strong and she has the power to do this. Yeah, she's starting to get closer now. The left foot drifting towards the hold. She does like jump. I think the top is harder than Camilla made it look. Uh, I would say the same. Also, we saw her hesitate for a moment if she would palm. She was like building up for jumping with the palm and then went down again, re 
positioned herself to jump double-handed. So, uh, whereas someone newer would just jump uh, like with the first idea and then see maybe how that works. But if you know no. the uh, the paper, please let yep. Petra know. Well, Erin is trying something different. Ooh. It is working, but she's only got 10 Ooh. seconds. I want to give her another minute. I want to see if yeah. that works. That looks really interesting, like how she turns. Yeah. And then somehow regenerates, brings the body back and jumps. Oh. Yeah, a few big names are deciding not to come. I have the feeling they decided to go to Salt Lake. And I know of a lot of athletes who came to China who will not do Salt Lake. Yeah, you're right. It uh, seems to be that decision. All right, Anon, what can she do? Leaping Ooh. over, good oh. first attempt. Sort of spreading her wings into that world as well. All right, up she goes again, hits the starting hold. Let's see how she works this jump. Ooh. It's amazing how technical this sport is. I mean, from outside, you think it's quite simple. You just climb a wall, but yeah. there's a lot to it. <laughs> I tell you what, Camilla's top, every time someone doesn't do it, it's going more and more impressive. Well, she's getting closer and she's going to have to. Less than a minute now, the buzzer went. She's going to rest a little bit before launching again. Up into these good starting holds. Not much for the feet, though. Drives herself left. and Now the foot was missing. We could really see nicely how her feet didn't do anything and her hands just were pedaling through the movement. OK, so he's put it together now. Six attempts done. No zone yet. So yet to get on the scoreboard. If she does get the zone, she'll jump right up into second place. Oh, frustration there immediately she hit the mats. That was almost a bit too much energy, I have the feeling. Okay, so she needs to wind yeah. it back a bit now. Yeah, no, she really pulled off hard. Oh. Those of you waiting for a matism, I never understand why they run. And uh, Zelia's showing me why. <laughs> She's just 19, though. I and mean, it. honestly... It's exciting. You're climbing a final. There's a boulder waiting for you. You have to run. I, I would take my time. I would saunter over, enjoy the moment. No. But we'll agree to disagree with that one. That's fair enough. Go, right, well, go climb. Yes, exactly. Come and come do what you're, you're here for. Ooh. Zelia, close that time. And a hold like this, you need it to be brushed because there's a lot of chalk going on to that every time you hit the hold. Yeah, it definitely can make that difference. Oh. Nasty fall. She's all right, though. Bounces back up. Less than two minutes now. Pulls back on again. Listen for the alleys from the French team. Oh, yes. nice job from Celia. OK, let's see how hard this top is, then. Camilla did it. One minute 30 left, so... Oh, nice job from Celia. Wow, that's two, then. Impressive. So it is indeed. Well, I think we can say the bottom is easier than the sorry, the top is easier than the bottom. She is, of course, already a, an Olympic gold medalist. She'd like to make it a double Olympic Olympic gold medalist in the future. And all of this is good training for Yanni, just rem reminding herself how to do this comp thing. Very slow from Yanni. Oh. Wow. That's what I thought. <laughs> Look, we're kind of pausing in the commentary box because Yanni has basically seen the beta and completely ignored it. And it's a flash. And it's a flash, and what a flash that was. All right, so explain this to us, Petra. Like, why wouldn't you try to jump across that bolt? I mean, it's always kind of the trade-off between, like, taking the risk or using power. And Yanya definitely is super strong. She, ha she has, like, an incredible, like, sloper power she can hold things I dream of literally and a lot of people dream of and so she has the confidence that she can hold on to these holds and then it's just sick, more secure. Oh, impressive stuff. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Yanya, we just saw her flash that boulder, which means she moves to the top spot. Zelia in second, five attempts, putting her up there. And then Camilla Moroni in provisional third position, six attempts to get to the top of the boulder. And Anon, Erin, and Zilu Lo after that. So that is the standings after boulder number one. We now move our attention to boulder number two. And Camilla is out and about already on this. Let's see what she can do. Uh, climbing right into the corner here. And we think there might be a few options on this boulder. To wait and see. Straight away into a big pinch with the right hand. 
Yeah, because they're good holds, the ones on the big black volumes themselves. Yeah, they're kind of the, the flat hole waves. They're not too bad, depending on the angle you catch it. Yes, I think that's the, the solution. All right, so Camilla goes, a shadow on the wall there, lit up. She just cleans the feet off and then pulls on for her third attempt. Let's see. Oh, nicely done from Camilla. Awesome flick of the legs there to keep her on. Now gets, I think there's a toe under there. Oops, yeah, sorry, toe on the jib. Right, into the pinch. There's a thin, crimpy side pull coming up, but she gets with the toe in briefly. And she's been awarded the zone as well. Pinch power definitely needed here. A little jib for the foot. And we're already at the last move. Oh, so close from Camilla. Sliding off and hands on a hip. She knows how close that was. Have enough time to chalk up and go in again. Mm -hmm. All right, well, she's kept it a minute 20 on the clock, so she's got time for a few attempts if it goes wrong. That looked better from her as that well. That looked really solid now. And much quicker through here. She knows the sequence, gets the toe hook in, hits the crimp, unlocks the toe, and now starts this pinch power up on the right. Minute buzzer goes. And this is the jump that spat her off before. Needs nice to get set. Knee bar there to get the right hand higher. Oh, yeah. Right, she's a bit higher then. Nicely done from Camilla. <laughs> There's the leg lift as well. <laughs> yeah, work from Camilla Moroni. She stays in touch on that podium. Long way to go, of course. And, oh, we get a nice 3D render of this boulder. Cool. That's good to see. So, starting at the bottom. Now, look, this is a good time to explain the rules. So, the red lines indicate a different limb. You have to have one limb on every hold the red line indicates. The zone, that's the first scoring opportunity. That's on the big black volume. And then we can see now in detail the pinches and then the top. You've got to match the top with two hands and show control on it. You can't just slap at it and fall off. It doesn't count. All right, well, we said she had to go away and reset. This is where we see if she's managed to, to do that because the pressure is going to be building on her right now. The pressure definitely builds with every boulder. You're not successful, especially at home. Yeah, that home crowd thing, I think it can work either way. I always saw it as an advantage. When someone pointed out to me recently that it might... Oh, she did that so easily, statically. Sorry. Wait, no, 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 you were right to, don't worry. I mean, let's just see. We'll talk about pressure later on if she sends this. So, out again with the right hand. She decided to do a heel under the volume, you know heel on the left side where Camilla did the toe. Yeah, she's got that crimp in. Hasn't unreleased the toe yet. Yeah, she's also taller than Camilla. Yeah, good point. So easier to do it. All right, will she keep that right hand? She will. Nice. That looks easy. Flash for Gilles Lolo and we, well, forget everything I said about pressure. Clearly, no issue for her. What a comeback for her. She pushes you to make something like she did now. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this was the replay again. Bumping that left hand up. Got the heel underneath, hit the slopey right hand, and then kept that heel for quite a while, turned it into a toe, and the jump, holding the pinch. Little toe in there to steady herself. And look how calm she looked at the top. Okay, Erin's turn to have a go at this power boulder. Should suit her style wants to get on the scoreboard as well. I also have the feeling that you kind of have to be flexible to get your right foot up once you have like these two waves. Mm -hmm. Like you put your foot in between your hands. Yeah, that's hard to do when you're that, that scrunched up position. All right, Erin, she might try to go fairly static. She does, also, wow. That's yeah. some right pinch power there. Oh, interesting solution she's choosing. Will that have cost her some energy, though? It's not as flowy as the other method. Now has to drop down again. High heel hook, wow. Nicely done from Erin. Okay, from here you'd think it would be... Oh, no, it's not. Forget what I'm saying. So she's ignoring the crimp as well. <laughs> this is wild. Now she gets the crimp. But actually not a bad solution, because you can put all the energy on the foot and the heel. Yeah, I mean, she's right at the top here. This would be brilliant if she gets this done. She is going to get it done. Needs to just match. 
Yes. Nicely done from Erin. All right, well, Erin gets that done nice and quick. All right, next up, Anon Matsufuji onto the mat. She always has that strapping on her wrist as well. I did ask about it, and I cannot for the life of me remember what it was for. But <laughs> Well, we see it with a lot of Japanese climbers. Um, as I know, it's just to help the, the wrist... Um, be stabilized. Okay. Because with all the hanging we do <laughs> and the climbing, like our forearms, they they tend to kind of have a certain tension, yeah. which pulls constantly at the wrist. And then there's like eight little uh, like bones in the wrist, so quite a complex uh, joint. Yeah. And well. with the with this pulling and the tension, it can. Oh, so nearly work. I'm about to say it's clearly working. You can see that a lot with the younger athletes, but also they have the energy to, to just <laughs> do so many tries. It's incredible sometimes. But yeah. Petra and I had a long conversation about slowly getting old before the broadcast <laughs> came on, so I think we're both, <laughs> both feeling that right now. Right, Anum bumping the hands up. But it's what they do in training all. Ooh, nice save there from Anon. Yeah, had to drop back down, didn't she? Now adjusts, gets the heel in. Only briefly touched it with the toe. Now also bumping up this right hand. Oh, nice, with the left foot high. It's interesting. Everyone who's tried to go for that jump has made the adjustment really quickly. Yeah. Gets a toe in to stop herself as well. Tilt back one side. Uh, and pe a lot of people ask about all those towels and it's basically just to clean the feet. It has to get a bit dusty and dirty out on the mats and the athletes want to make sure their shoes are as clean as possible. Or also if it's raining, to yes. dry your shoes off. Which he did a bit yesterday. Yes. <laughs> oh! Fall off. Whereas others, they feel that they're falling and they let go maybe uh, half a second earlier to land on their feet. Yes, <laughs> cat-like instincts kick in. All right, Zelia again. Watch this right hand. Hopefully she will make that adjustment. Yeah, looks a bit better. Bumps up. Another slip of the foot. These boulders are ridiculously hard, especially after a day of qualifying yesterday, semi-finals this morning. A lot of climbing here. A bit more static this time. Hits it. And now swings out right. Nicely done, though. Yeah, it's quicker as well, isn't yeah. it? From her? She had her right foot higher on the volume. Yeah, so made those adjustments. Gets the pinch in. Looks for something for the left foot. Changes that right hand. Not sure it's high enough yet. Yeah, now she found the knee bar to bump up this right hand. Even looking at the top. Oh, slipping off the crimp just before jumping off. Looks over, checks the clock, has a deep breath standing, looking at these first holds. She knows this is a big moment here. Yeah, as an athlete, you kind of know what the other athletes do. You hear the crowd, you know or you can see how fast other athletes are getting on the mats. So she probably knew that the other athletes were topping out quite quickly. Even though you don't know the exact number of... It was a similar kind of position, wasn't it? Yeah, she tried the same as Anon. She put up the left foot this time, which she didn't before, which definitely helped, but a little short on the, on the jump. Yeah. So then it's probably better to be lower to generate from the bottom. That's a really good point, yeah. If she's going to do it that method, that does make sense. Okay, right, Yanya is on. Obviously got that first one out of the way pretty quick. So let's see what she can do here. Definitely the power boulder, and we know she has power. I was just about to say, I mean, she's looking so strong. All right, has that right Heel healing. method from her. Also the crossing beta. Has a lie on the top hold there, knows it's above her, wants to get a bit higher here. Gets that left foot, hits it easily, holds the pinch, gets the Yay. match. It's like Yanya almost took that boulder she didn't climb as a personal affront from the semi-final. You know? It was a wake-up call. <laughs> yeah. 
Because she's uh, she seems to have turned up some kind of a gear here. A couple of hours later, coming back and showing us this. Yeah, I, I completely agree with that analysis because you could see it. And, and it's when I think when an athlete operates on that kind of high level, you can see the little dips more easily. All right, well, Yanya is two out of two now. We move our attention to women's number three. And as you said, it's like a multi-sport event. So other uh, sports also have their Olympic qualifications throughout these days. Well, that is to come in a couple of weeks. And I, we have, we'll talk about this bottle and we'll go back to it because those are the jibs that you can see. There are some red jibs on the uh, red volume. When I say jibs, I mean little holds that are screwed on. The zone hold is there. And then what looks like to be maybe a sort of a kind of mantle pushy move towards the top, which is a small crimp high up on that slab. Okay, well, here we go. Camilla Moroni runs on after that little break all the way from right to left on the mats towards the slab. And look, we've had two pretty jumpy, powerful boulders. Now they've got to settle themselves down for this slab. Yeah, that's the hard thing now. Um, as we could see, there are no handholds. So it's all about like kind of dancing over these volumes, trusting your feet, finding the balance, but knowing at the same time when to move on and taking also that risk. And we see really nicely here this crossover movement of the foot. And now she kind of has to bring her center of gravity over her left foot. That's a hard thing. But she's directly jumping on again. And people will look at this and think, oh, hang on a second. You know, an overhanging boulder has got to be harder. But slabs can be so technical, so difficult. It's super technical and so hard. There are even slabs which are physically really hard because if you have to press or push somewhere, it's the body tension which is really the thing you need. Oh, a little slip there, but otherwise, good movement from Camilla. Well, you can see now as we zoom in, that's all she's got to stand in. There's not much friction on those either. No, it's not much friction. And also, if you turn your foot, it's always a chance that it kind of, you lose the, the grip on the foothold and slip. She's trying to crimp the very top of that volume there, fingernails in action. Yeah, a little help, like millimeters can help you. <sighs> it's that step, isn't it? As yeah. she's stepping, she's slightly twisting away from yeah. the wall and that's causing her problems. Yeah, but it's at the same time, it's really hard to rotate your foot that kind of the, the tip of the foot, the big toe is standing on the jib and not the side. So you don't have to rotate the foot, but just the body over your foot. Yeah, there's a lot to think about. All the feet. Nice That's job now. What? You could see how she did it more dynamically. And I'm allowing to say that with more confidence. She yes. knew what she had to do. And now we see her pushing into this press mantle, which looks uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I saw it. I was like, I don't know what to do. There is a foothold down there, which she hasn't used yet. Now no. she finds it. That might help. Yeah, I have the feeling she has to turn all over to the right side. <sighs> yeah, I think you're and right. You almost have somehow, to side pull it, yeah. don't you? There are other possibilities. So taking that risk and trusting your body, finding this other way up. It's a hard part. Like, where do you go with the root setters and where do you trust yourself? <laughs> exactly. It's a game, isn't it? Now the hard move over again. And Oh, much nice. better from Camilla. She's learned that move. Eh? It's oh. really more uh, not a stand up, but a walk over. Yeah, you're right. You're totally right. It is that action. Well, she's going to go for this big... Oh, this is going to be cool. So a heel hook and a yeah. mantle. But oh, That would be really amazing to see. And we think she has to drop right onto the zone hold. She has got the zone already, so that's okay. But just 20 seconds left now. And you can see it rushing a bit through here. That's really the hard no, thing. Yeah, it's gone, isn't it? Like time goes down, stress goes up. Yes. All right, Gilles Lolo, let's see if she is feeling slabby. Runs to the left, uh, walks to the left, thank you, and then <laughs> turns back to the wall. Right, well, she got that quick top on the second one. Didn't get the first one. Sitting in fifth at the moment, so does really need a top here. Excited to see how she's gonna do that. Yeah, steps that foot through. Gotta be careful. 
And it's interesting how the crowd got really silent they did, for a didn't moment. They? I think everyone was waiting just to see. And really nicely done. She looks down at the foot. It's kind of blind underneath her. But look at this. It's really nicely done from her. Right, well, she's got to carry on trusting those feet. She needs to stand yeah, on the black slab. Walking up and now bring the weight over the foot. Maybe. Oh, maybe even effort. dynamically. Oh, really nice. Really nice from her. Will it be thumbs? Come Will it on. be fingers? Something on this top. This is a Crossing. scary move. Yes. That's one thumb needs to match. Oh, my goodness, she does. Oh, a <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Gilolo comes down. What a comeback she is having after that first boulder. Here comes Erin. She would also has had a bit of a comeback. Did that really unique method on boulder two. And now let's see how her slab game is like here. Isn't a favourite style. She's got such a unique approach. I'm kind of expecting her to handstand away. Let's see, let's <laughs> see what she does. Which I did actually see at a competition recently. Wow. I know, Quiff did it. The handstand boulder. Okay. Ooh, Erin finds a palm to steady herself. Nicely done. Oh, really close on that one. <laughs> ah, there we go there. That would make sense. Which you can yeah. use. So, yeah, it's probably just there. Yeah, you can see how she's crimping it a little bit now. Yes, you're right. Yeah, and that is allowed, yeah. and it, yes, it is as mad as it sounds, <laughs> crimping the screw hole. It makes a difference. All right, left foot on, let's see what she can do. Eyes focused on that bottom, a bit of a wobble, and she, that's what I meant by the yeah. falling off before you've fallen yeah. off. She knew she was gone. Will she do that? I mean, she's gonna. she's got a minute if she's going to try to break it. It is a bit of a gap there. Oh, God, okay. Oh, she's nicely up so far, so that's kind of worked. Yeah, it's now really turn that ankle over and then stand up or directly over. Yes, yes, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh how wow, she nice that? save. I don't think she knows how she saved <laughs> that. <laughs> she looked towards the coaches in disbelief for a moment. 28 seconds, though, on the clock. This might be her last time at this. Into the zone. Hasn't been awarded yet, but she will be. Yeah, it's really about like turning, ooh, using everything you have. Yeah, didn't turn it enough. Tried to press her way through it like an elevator yeah. door. Eight seconds, Erin is done. Trying everything. All right, Anon runs on. Three to go on this boulder. And one more after that before we say goodbye for the evening. A day off in proceedings where everyone travels down to Wuzhang and then the lead and speed later on in the week. Okay, Anon, let's see what you could do. Classic position. I think she's crimping. Oh, bobbled the foot. Yeah, it would be nice to see a top from her here. She has one top from the second boulder. But yes. definitely we put her in a good position. It's going to be tight on boulder four, the yeah. way things are. It's going to be an important one, this. Nicely done now. Yeah, really nice. That was ah, just that little slip, which in that case also works. But then you really have to go lower on a lower way over. <laughs> More like walking over. Let's see if she can make that adjustment then. So up she goes again. Tiptoeing that left foot up as she goes. Let's see if she can do this. Slower. Nice. Much better. Brought that right out. <laughs> Look at that. A little chalk up. <laughs> <laughs> so she's certainly feeling confident on that right foot. Reaches up. Now, will she just go for the mantle? Has she seen this move to the right? The zone kind of gives you a clue that that's what you have to do. Yeah. Hobbling those feet around, though. She's not using the foothold. No, she has the foot already up, but... Also, I feel like she should come a little bit down again. Yes. That's it. Oh, that was a real fight, wasn't it? Yeah. She's running down the time here. 
42 on the clock, needs this to work. She's got an early slip left for that time. But she knows what to do. She has done it and can do it again. All right, so eyes down. She's looking over to the right. Drops into it and solid. Straight away into it. It's like a little routine on that slab now. But thinking of Erin, how much time she needed for the top part. Nice, come on. Yeah, I don't think she's going to have enough time, but she has got the zone. Drills the left foot in. She would have got stood up, I think, but she's going to be running out of time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she knows really it would have gone. Shame. Zelia's up next. And uh, my co-commentator said to me during the semis, the French and the slabs. <laughs> They've got a point. The French team are notoriously good at slab climbing. They are in a certain style of slab climbing. Okay, what style is their style? The French style. <laughs> it's hard to describe. I want to know what. I love it because you hear this with teams, you know, like the Japanese team, everyone talks about their flow. You yeah. know, I just wonder what it is. <gasps> a Ooh. little slip there so from Celia. I've ruined it for her now. There's no more French slabs. <laughs> But it is interesting. It must be down to coaching or, I don't know, maybe it's the rock climbing, the gym, something. Yeah, but I've also wondered if it's just us humans making that things up. Yeah, probably. I mean, we're, I do a lot of talking up here, so maybe we'll just make it things up. But They're generally, really nice they are very style. good. Oh, another... <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly that sound, yeah. What did he do with me? Yeah, oi. All right, she goes again. Three minutes on the clock, lots of time. Stands up. She's fallen off pretty much everywhere you could fall off so far, so let's hope it goes together now. I'm watching that left foot to make sure of it. Slides down with the right, and the left goes again. She has two minutes left. Yeah, pressure time now. Zelia stood up again. Watch that left foot. Really quick. Oh, crowd just silenced a bit here everyone focused on Zelia yeah there you can feel the tension here yes you're right oh. it's that wow really, what no. a save well she nearly did that twice before doing it yeah. brilliant save from her very low though manages to make it work she's looking at the clock as she comes over hits the right foot grabbing the screw hole there decides to go for the high foot Wow, if Celia can make this happen, it would be wonderful here. 19 wow. seconds. Oh, oh really no. close on that, but really good that she got that zone. Wow. Well, she wants what to go again, fight. but no time. Right, Yanya goes. Her turn on this slab before we say goodbye to that. She's currently sitting in second because she hasn't had a go at this boulder yet. I'm excited to see what she's going to show us. Gets stood up first time. Left foot on. Ooh. Ooh, also a little slip from her. It looked also so solid. All right, Yanya goes again. Not much hesitation. Stands up. She's got two out of two so far. Looks down. Finds the left foot. Needs to be precise here. Let's watch that left foot. She brings the right down. This nice. time it stays. Well it just seemed like she put a bit more weight through that left foot. Yeah, and I think she really focused on not moving that left foot. Yeah, you can see it changing her brain. Well, she's through that. Now, can she get this top done? Also deciding for the high foot there. She's got her nice. body in the right place. She brought up the other foot, which was... Wow. Easy stand up she there. She has such from... strong legs, yeah. doesn't she? Generally, her footwork is impressive. Like, All right, well, let's look at our standings as they are. Yanni Gambrett leading the way, way out in front at the moment. Camilla Moroni after that. Gilu Lord, love to get on the podium in front of that home cloud. Zelia Abazu, Erin McLeast in fifth, and then Anand Matsufuchi in sixth with work to do. And going out left, but let's check it out on our 3D render here. Quite overhanging as well there, Petra. Yeah, definitely. And thinking of holding these pinches at that angle, that's going to be 
hard. I watched Root Setter standing on a ladder trying to do the pinch move, this move here to the zone, and I didn't see anyone do it. It is a brutal move, a very shallow pinch. And you've got more pinches to come here, hitting a fairly good crimp there, and the top is slopey once more. Yeah, I think the top move here isn't going to be the big problem. I have the feeling like the move out from the zone is hard and to the zone. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Camilla Moroni will like a move like this, but has she got some energy left? Lays down the mat. She has, I think, got a taped finger on the left hand, if I saw that rightly. All right, she's underway then. Hypes herself up. Maybe isn't it? All right, whatever. She's underway into this scrunched up shape. And there's the look above your head. Gets that palm pressed in. Nice toe hook there on the right. It's these little details which make a good, or the difference between the good climbers and the brilliant climbers. Agreed. What will Camilla be here tonight? Those shoulders will be hurting as she now drops into miniature better position. Doesn't shake or anything though, straight to a pinch. It's been a pinchy round, this actually. Yeah. We've seen a couple of pinches up till now. And this is the hard move, really, into this zone. Wow. Nearly. Yeah, really close. She definitely has to keep the foot. It's one factor. Uh, she actually has one tape. Um, but then, yes, generally the body is just getting tired and tired. And yeah, a physical boulder like this just takes everything out of you. And also like these presses, it's so hard also on the body tension. Yeah, so many muscles in play. I mean, everything is working right now. Legs, back, core drops into this and that right hand isn't great either and then the pinch is starting that's tiring all right she needs this foot to stick though she lost it before makes that room for the heel, heel hook isn't happy with that goes for the I, I think she's got to try that heel starts towards the bowler left foot up she's making the first moves look okay yeah, but you could see in the second try that she was getting tired. Yeah, for sure. The foot change on this little jib. Loving the music. It's kind of like 80s uh, action hero music going on in the background here. Up she goes into the pinch. Squeezing the lower green pinch with the feet. Now trying the heel hook once again. Doesn't like it, does she? No. She's trying to get it in and can't see if she has it. I don't think she has. Oh! It was a really good try. But. That's it. But Camilla. Really nice climbing from her throughout this competition. So as you get the pinch, flick yeah. your feet out right. Yeah, maybe. All right, Gilu, the crowd on their feet now. In front of our commentary box, everyone is standing up watching her. It was a good two last boulders. Yeah, she looked so strong on these last two boulders. Also saved a lot of energy and skin with flashing them. Yeah, true. It gives you lots more time to go back to ISO and rest. So will it pay off now? Into the first of the presses. Just the feet a little higher. Drops the right foot down again. She wants to get her right hand where her left hand currently is. Now it does. Turning around this volume and jumping out to the pinch. And now we'll see what she's going to be doing with her feet. Yeah, she makes that adjustment really high. Now, what is she going to do? She's going for the higher heel. Higher heel. She's making it work at the moment. No, Ooh. it goes. Didn't manage the, the push over to the left volume. Yeah, we talked about how much it exhausts you with these press moves. Yeah, especially like pressing upwards is something we have quite often in, in competitions, but... Yeah. Or not. I've never seen someone train that specifically, No, honestly. I'm <laughs> trying to think about it now. Yeah, it's a pretty good point. Like maybe more of a gym sort of strength, you know. Like, I, I don't know. But she's certainly struggling with it, almost unsending this boulder a bit now as fatigue kicks in. No. Generally, I have the feeling like... Or women tend to be weaker in their triceps than the men. Okay. Because I'm super strong in my triceps and 
I don't know why. I never train it really. Well, you're an ice so, climber as well. But there's yeah. a lot of yeah. maybe that kicks in a bit. I maybe. don't know. You know, all those yeah, pull ups on, on holes, perhaps. Maybe, maybe. But that's definitely something where the triceps helps a lot. Um, we said before, look, she first final, just leave everything behind. Yeah. She's so slam Yeah. She might look at her. She's enjoying this and she's so psyched for this last boulder. All right, four minutes on the clock, halfway through this last boulder. There's another little reread of it. It's been a while since she had a look at this boulder. Jogs over, has a look, and we'll want to get involved nice and quickly here. There's jibs that she's standing on here. Decides for a really high foot there. It is high, isn't it? You're right. Yeah. And up towards the press, and the pressing begins. No, she's... Oh, the right foot went. Wow, okay. And then kind of working her way over. Now let's watch this right foot of Erin's. That's what went before. As she was moving left, it kind of popped, and just that pop just sent her off the boulder. She actually gets rid of the right foot pretty quickly now. And A little toe. toe hook, yeah. Uh, Celia also did that. Ah, love that. Right, well, she presses in. Eye is up the next hold. Hits it now. Trying to figure out how to get there with the right hand. Now oh, she got it. Little jump out to the pinch. Oh, she doesn't really jump. <laughs> no, she's just pressing in there. Oh, great. I have the feeling she has really long arms. Because she is not that tall, you said before. Yeah. Oh, really nice try there. To go again. High left foot stands up. Make sure of that right foot. Mm -hmm. She had a good old look at it. Brings the right hand up to push over to the left. Oh, gradual, gradual. Trust doesn't do the toe hook anymore? No, she doesn't change, doesn't she? A kick <laughs> shouting in the background. I love little things like that. It really makes me smile. <laughs> All right, Erin. Oh, she did lose the feet there, but saves it with a pinch. Would have cost some energy, though. Right, adjustments here. How much has oh. she got left? No. You can sort of see yeah. it draining away from her. Yeah. Pour out all the energy you have now. Yeah, this is it. Empty the tank time. 30 seconds to go. Up into the press now. Pushing with that right hand. Shoulders rotating through in order to make this move. Leans out left. Little back side toe on that starting hold. Now she knows the sequence. She knows what to do. But shoulders are getting high. Come Meaning on, Aaron. she's getting tired. But yeah, I think she's done. Isn't but she? what a final it was for her. All right, four minutes on the clock. She's sitting in sixth. Yeah, so nothing to lose, everything to win. Exactly. So let's see what Anon can do here. Has she got enough skin left for a boulder like this? Has she got the triceps to pull it off? Gets the left foot on, presses up with the right hand, adjusting it as she goes. Right leg kicking out. Top in seven attempts or zone in nine for a bronze. And top in eight. Adjust the hand here a little bit, taking a time, which is good to see. Needs to change that right hand though. Now she drops into it properly. No, didn't look comfortable there. <laughs> Okay, looks for this high left foot. Bump up to it. Now she's into it. Into the press once more. Two minutes on the clock. Moving a bit faster now. Yeah, she knows what to do. Ooh, interesting solution there from her. Yeah, but not comfortable trying to get this right hand in. Yeah, I really have to get down and get the thumb around. Yeah, that's it. Oh, in hold then push against it like I think I don't know who it was but probably Camilla who, who, who had the whole arm against the, the volume and then kind of just rubbed around and then came in with the right hand yeah just gradually taking the weight off well let's see she gets that left foot up again and bringing the right hand looks okay now but the hips are kind of to the right and yeah now the foot popped so makes the foot pop off in the end. Yeah, you're right. And I think she loses that tension as she's dropping down with the hips. So 19 seconds to go. Last try for her, I would say. 
Yeah, we'd love that zone, but oh no, I think she's gone. Well, we say goodbye to Anna. <laughs> okay, Zilia Abzu is on. She would have been frustrated from that slab. Let's see what she can do now. Two zones, a top. She needs to top it in order to guarantee that silver in fourth at the moment. Silly would love to get a medal here, so bumps up that left foot into the press. No one really coming anywhere near topping it yet, though. Yeah, no zone yet. No. I mean, I said at the beginning I'd seen set up. Whoa, that's different. Normal, a different solution from Celia. <laughs> But you can see how she is pushing into the volume. Oh. I need a taping lesson from you pros on that one. Every time I put tape on my fingertips, it falls off immediately. There's got to be a technique oh, Well, to it. you can tell me once you know, because I'm struggling with the same. <laughs> okay, that's good. It's not just me, then. I've heard so many different, like, taping techniques. Cross-taping, wide ones, larger ones, different brands of tape. But honestly... It's not holding. <laughs> there we go. Well, I'm glad because, yeah, it never works for me either. Nice one there. Yeah, Zelia, that, that time getting that high right leg looked really smart. I mean, yeah. She used it better. Oh, every bump. Way. You can yeah. see how tired yeah. she was getting. I think it is too, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, it has to be, I think, at this stage. But Zelia would love to get onto the podium. She still has a chance to do it if she can top, which is going to be a huge ask. No one getting close to it yet. Yeah, and with 30 seconds left, it's going to be hard to get a top, but the zone, it's still there. It is still there. Let's see what she can do. That right drop knee once more into the pinches now. Full power needed. 18 seconds. There. Yeah, she saved it. Jumps nice. to the bottom pinch. Oh. Tries to, Tries to go directly. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's all nice she had left. Fight. Nice fright from Celia, and I think she enjoyed them. So, yeah, one of those things. I try my best. Right, Yanya Gambra is out. She's got the gold medal already. She won't know it. She might have uh, an, in uh, an inkling that she's got this one. But knowing Yanya, she will want to finish things off with a high here. Can anyone unlock that zone hold? Definitely. I'm confident she can. All right, here she goes again. Standing up high, looks over to the left. It's the press. Nicely done, but a little hesitation there from her as well. Yeah, she did have a moment. She's not walking this one. Tries that left hand once more. Easily done. She grabs the lower volume, like backside it. This does look quite solid. Not a big move to the bonus. What will she do with that heel? Tried to get a jam in. Oh, just committed Easy. to the heel. But she bumped up her right hand on the top of the green volume, which... Oh, I did uh... Wow. I mean, what do you say? I mean, quite clearly, Yanya currently is kind of above everyone else at the moment. Yeah. That was really quite impressive. I mean, power-wise, finger power-wise... She's another level, yeah. For the final, yeah. walks away with the silver, and then Gilu Lo gets on the podium. The crowd will love that. Silly Abazu came close. Gilu Lo, bronze medal for her. Had to come back from a tricky first boulder, found something special in the middle, too. And a good way to start her season off in front of her home crowd. Bronze for her. Second, Camilla Moroni. She's waiting patiently on the left-hand side. Great performance from the young Italian who's really starting to cement herself as one to watch for these podiums. Brilliant performance from her. Pure power from Camilla Moroni. I've yet to see a trophy. I need to have a look at the. Where is it? I don't think there is a trophy. Having hyped up with the the, uh, the trophies, certainly some very good looking flowers though. There they are. Oh, a lovely bunch. And finally, Yanya Gambret. Well, she's had this moment so many times. I bet it doesn't 
get any less special for her. Another goal to her collection. Yanya Garnbrett, top spot again in 24. And starting to make a statement for the Olympics in a couple of months. Yanya will stand up high on that top spot and enjoy this moment. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful evening, and I will see you very, very soon.